we have seven positions and apparently we're not going to fill our, our seventh slot this year. So we're going to be a person short. And that presents a safety hazard for us, a safety risk, because we do a lot of mobile traffic control and we require people in vehicles to be following behind us or driving support vehicles or whatever. And whenever we're short, even one person, we can't get a lot of that done. That also means though too, that our traffic control is very difficult to accomplish adequately. And it shows in the number of very close call incursions we've had with motorists. And we're definitely noticing the difference this year as opposed to last year when we had seven people. I came from the private sector. I was a laborer. And in fact, I was looking at one of my old pay stubs the other day. It's old as in seven years old. And I'm just now making the pay right now with WashDOT that I was making seven years ago, basically doing the same job. And, and when a new person comes to work for us, they're constantly looking at us and saying, I had no idea that this, this pay was this low. Why am I going to risk my life, and my safety to do this when I can go be a manager at McDonald's for the same pay? And it's, it's really all about recruiting and retaining the best people that we can find, people who have skills, people who have a safety mindset. And without that, we're always going to struggle. And more importantly, our lives, our safety is going to be at risk out there doing the job and the safety of the motoring public, the people who are paying the taxes to keep us out there and maintaining the roads.